What's up, Tigers? I hope you're hyped for today's CNN and the awesome fact that summer begins in only 29 days. I'm your anchor, Johnny, here to deliver you the news on senior contracts, service awards, and flow clubs. Only four weeks left of school? Wow, that's awesome news. I hope you guys savor these last few weeks of TNN. I'm your anchor, Alex, giving you the news about library checkouts, prom prices, and AP week. Dang, I can't wait for summer. We all deserve a mental break. I'm your sports anchor, Cassiopeia, by the way, here with your banging Tiger Sports, Powder Puffs, and the news and announcements that you need to know. Seniors, grab yourself a yearbook. You won't regret it. I know Mr. Monroe doesn't. He says, moments last for seconds, but memories last forever. So make sure you buy your, your yearbook soon because supply is very limited. Scan this QR code to text your parents about buying the yearbook or go to jostens.com. I know school's finishing up, but look out for our great clubs here at Slow HS, specifically our top tier robotics club. The new game for the 24-25 season is out and teams are forming. Join Robotics, robotics Club on Mondays and Thursdays in room 400 after school. Meetings are from 3.45 to 5 p.m. Seniors, rem remember that packet you got a while back with all the info about upcoming senior events? If you plan to graduate, please submit both the senior contract and the per permission slip for the senior picnic at the office or ASB. Remember, you cannot drive your own vehicle to the senior picnic even if you are 18 or older. Make sure to, to check out the 2024 Google Classroom for more info. The end of the year is fast approaching and it is about time y'all get your library checkouts in order because missing items are expensive. I'm talking $270 for those Chromebooks. For more info, check out the video from the library about returning school items. I'm here to let you know that any and all library materials are due by the last day of school, which is Thursday, June 6th. This includes Chromebooks, textbooks, class novels, and library books. Your teachers may make in-class appointments to come return textbooks and class novels, but if you have any other resources that need to be returned from the library, come by at any time to do so. This includes items from this trimester, previous trimesters, or even past years. The library is open before school, after school, at break, and at lunch, so come by at any time to return items you need to. Finally, if your Chromebook is broken, glitchy, or lost, come by the library and we'll help you out. You need a functioning Chromebook for finals week, and Chromebooks will not be on loan at the library during that time. The library is here to help, and we hope to see you. As the end of the year approaches, Tigers look out for community service awards that you might deserve. They will be given out on Monday, June 3rd, so submit your community service verification forms to Ms. Martin by next Wednesday. Seriously guys, it looks really good for colleges. Are you a junior or senior that wants to go up to prom but it sounds too expensive? We have free and reduced $30 tickets this year. Just scan the QR code or go to your Google Classroom class for the form to fill out. Even more, Miss Avery has free prom dresses and suits for you to try on and keep. You can find her in room 513 if you're interested. Yeah. Now that schools and approaches, are you wondering what to do with your old slow high swag that you won't wear anymore? Well, this video from Environmental Club has got the right answer for you. Donate it to the Slow High School Apparel Drive and give it another life. You can drop your clothes off in the ASB room, room 152, or at the front of the school in the office. And donations start today and then last all the way until May 29th, so make sure to get those shirts in. Thank you. It's the middle of the first week of AP testing. Make sure you all get enough sleep and eat well, so you're in your best shape while taking them. I wish you all the best luck and hope you guys cook on them as good as Kendrick Lamar. Now back to Cassiopeia <laughs> to, with our Tiger Sports.
What's good, Tigers? Welcome back to Tigers Sports. First things first, on May 4th and the 5th, your boys' swim and dive team swam in the CIF Central Section D1 Championships. It was an amazing meet with great many races. And in the tight battle for second place against Clovis West, our D1 boys emerged triumphant, placing one point ahead of Clovis West. The Tigers took home the CIF runners-up plaque, and six of our awesome boys qualified to compete in the CIF State Championships on May 10 and 11th. So make sure to wish these crazy Tigers a good luck. Now the Tiger domination doesn't end there. Last night, our boys volleyball team won a close match against Fresno Christian. That, this means that they play for a CIF championship here at our home gym at 6 p.m. against Arroyo Grande, our heated rivals. This will be a busy night in the gym and we would of course love your support for the athletes. Moving on, there may or may not be a varsity baseball game against Morro Bay at 6, but there's definitely a varsity softball game against Napomo at home starting at 4.30. With that being said, make sure to show up and get loud for our crazy sports team, Tigers. And last but not least, look out for Powder Puff, guys. The application packets are due this Friday. More info is on this video by ASB. Hey, Tigers, if you're still interested in Powder Puff, you can get your packets right over here powder puff forms and turn them in into the suggestion box or you can go in room 508 and turn them into Stewart. Although they say they're due May 7th, they're actually due May 10th this Friday, so make sure to get them in. Thank you guys and sign up. Now back to Alex and Johnny for our lunch in U.S. history. Thanks for the Tiger Sports. Lunch today is going to be Italian sausage and pepper sandwiches, barbecue chicken cores with a corn cob and a biscuit, and of course the infamous Cal Poly cheese box. Shout out to all you A-plus ballers out there. On this day in 1974, in U.S. history, the House voted to initiate impeachment proceedings against Nixon. Nixon would then step down in order to avoid being the first president to ever be impeached and successfully removed from office. Quote of the day, I am not a crook. Boy, that aged like fine milk. That's all for today, Tigers. Stay, stay motivated. <laughs>